Welcome to MIG TV. I'm your host Miguel Best and today we're doing a cheese ball. It's a simple, easy recipe to do that's really quick and tastes really good. So enough with the talking and let's get making. So what you're going to need for this recipe is the most expensive stuff you can find in the store. Like, um, well not really. No, I got cheap cream cheese because it doesn't really matter and you're going to need one full brick of that. You're going to need one full um, sour cream um, container full of sour cream of course onion um, recipe this uh, soup mix but it yeah obviously it's for dip too and crackers you're gonna want crackers and also a pan or a pot sorry to melt it all in and oh and I forgot cheese you're gonna need cheese so we're gonna get cheese cheese you're gonna need um, ground up cheese or whatever shredded cheese whatever you call that and uh, a really excessively old uh, stove um, not really you can use any stove but uh, that's what I'm using today and that's what we're gonna do let's go okay first we're gonna turn our stove to medium because we want things to melt but we don't want things to burn first thing we're gonna do after turning the stove on is put in a full block of cream cheese that goes in there just like that and I'm gonna wait for that just to start to melt a little bit because uh, I don't want it to wait too long because it'll burn after a while because that's what cream cheese is known for so I'll just leave that for a couple minutes and I'll get the sour cream ready so now I'm gonna add in the, now you can see that that's not really melted at all too much but it doesn't really need to be because once the mixture gets warm then everything will work out fine so now I'm gonna put in the sour cream if it ever wants to get in there I'm gonna get a spatula I'm very prepared for this video as you can tell <laughs> so that goes in just like that now you can also add spices to this if you wanted to. Um, right now I guess would be the best time to put it in while everything's not mixed together. The spatula is, is top notch, I tell ya. Okay. So now that that's in there, I'm going to get a wooden spoon. If I had one, that would be fantastic. And I'm going to make sure everything gets together here. Just like that. Get off of there. Come on. So now we're just going to wait till this is all melted together. And so uh, right now it's hard to see for you guys, but the uh, cheese block is still right here. So once that's all mixed together and it's all melted, then we'll move on to the next step. It won't take too long. While that cheese is melting in the pot, I'm going to grate some cheese and get ready for that. So this is a cheese grater I got for Christmas one year. I'm just going to put the chunks in there really quickly. And I'm going to grate it up. And that I'll throw in after, once everything is melted in the pot. And, uh, oh, making a mess here. And, um, then we'll uh, mix it in together. Now don't be afraid to use lots of shredded cheese in this. Um, you already have one brick of cream cheese and one um, little container of sour cream but um, lots of cheese is, 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 uh, is good to be, I don't know what you'd say, added to it. Um, just because with my experience uh, a, lot of, a lot more shredded cheese tastes a lot better. Um, that way you have kind of like a three cheese like dairy mixture so uh, that's good and um, just yeah put lots of cheese in there I like to repeat myself but anyway this cheese is almost melted now so I'm just going to add the uh, shredded cheese and the onion soup mix so I'll show you that shot now okay so as you can see it's still a little bit lumpy but uh, it's it's fairly melted now, and that will I'll keep that on medium heat, and 
it'll keep melting. But now I'm going to add the shredded cheese. I'm just going to use my hands because that's all right. It's just me eating it this time. When Christmas rolls around, I'll put a, I'll make another one or two. This does get eaten very quickly. Very good recipe. Everyone loves it. They always ask me to make them for it or for them, sorry. And uh, they just love it. So I put this amount of cream cheese just because I got bored and I don't want to make any more shredded cheese. But uh, you can make lots more if you wanted. But that's uh, that's all I'm gonna do for this one because I don't really care too much. It's just me eating it. So that's all I did now. And I'm gonna add the soup mix. The soup mix is very important. Um, it depends. You could do what you want. You can. Uh, try and get most of the onions out if you wanted um, because they uh, are going to be a little bit crunchy but that always adds to the flavor so it's up to you it's whatever you want really I like to well sometimes I leave it in sometimes I take them out I'll put them in a bowl and I'll, I'll separate all the onion chunks but um, yeah it's not really necessary I mean it all tastes good they just it just adds a little bit more of a, a flavor more of a crunch to your cheese ball and uh, the next shot I'm going to show you is a fun one crackers now what you're going to want to do is take about half of these half of a container I guess half of a sleeve of crackers and you just want to crunch those up basically um, into your your pot so I'm just going to quickly do that with your hand take a few more they don't have to be completely crushed and turned into sand. They just need to be crushed up together because it will soften when it gets in there. But this just adds texture. Um, it fills up the cheese ball a little bit as well. And it also adds a little bit more sodium to it, which is good. So now I'm just going to add my crushed up crackers to the mix. And I'm going to make sure that's mixed in thoroughly. Okay, so this is what a finished cheese ball looks like. It's uh, a little bit clumpy, but um, that's the way it's supposed to be, really. So you're, you have your crackers in there and your onions, and that, that'll make it lumpy. Um, so don't be too worried about that, but that's finished. It's all together. It's all done. So now I'm going to move over to making a ball out of it. Okay, so what I'm going to use is a clear um, plastic wrap, and I'm going to put that in a bowl. So you're just going to put that in, you're going to tuck it in there and make sure it's out on the sides, like that. And what we're going to do now is we're going to pour our mixture into here. And we're going to wrap it up and that will make a ball. So let's grab the mixture here. It will be still hot a little bit. It, I, put, I did put my mixture on, on, meat or on low for a little bit. So it should be, it's not going to be piping hot like it used to be. So we'll just pour as much as I think should be a ball in here just like that I'll cut it off so it should make a couple balls a um, couple cheese balls just so you know so now we'll fold this in and I'll put it on this side which will make a curve over on this side I'll do the same going back and I'll just connect it and then on the sides then you just pinch it in the middle and that's done now you'll leave this you put this in the fridge and that'll be cooled off and when it cools off we'll pull it off we'll take the cellophane off or the wrap and then it'll be done it'll be a cheese ball now we all know that pre presentation is everything when it comes to Christmas everything has to look good and um, so what I'll do with the cheese ball after I'm done is I'll put um, some spices on top of it. Um, usually you put it in on the bottom of the bowl and then you put your cheese um, mixture in and then make it a ball. But I find that the, the spices tend to get mixed up with it and then you, you can't see them. And that's just not good for presentation. So what I like to do is after the ball is out, I'll put it on the dish with the strawberries and the, and the rest of the crackers and I'll put rosemary on it so I have some rosemary leaves just some cheap stuff but it all works 
and um, it looks really good. It doesn't add a whole lot to the taste, but it, it still tastes amazing, and everyone will love it. And uh, I'm just going to use some soda crackers because that's all I have on hand, but yeah, that tastes amazing. So that'll be a, a big hit for you guys. Um, use that with your family this Christmas and it's done, it's fast, it's easy. I mean that was done in like what, seven minutes for me? So it really wasn't long and it's uh, really enjoyable and that's good. Thanks for watching MIGTV. Um, I'm Miguel Best and uh, please subscribe, uh, comment about uh, how it went for you or what, uh, ask me questions about it. Um, or anything really um, and um, yeah I just hope uh, hope you like it please like this video and um, I don't know if I said it already but subscribe please um, next next video we're gonna be featuring this it's a little bit a uh, little bit scary it's just a um, Mossberg 715 tactical 22 rifle so it holds 25 rounds and uh, it shoots really quickly and it's lots of fun so we'll sh I'll show you that we'll be uh, blowing up some propane tanks and uh, making some fire and um, that's gonna be enjoyable we're gonna like that one uh, lots of shooting I'll give you a little bit of history on it and uh, uh, we'll see we'll wing it we'll see what happens we can do that right so that's good I'll see you later I'll see you soon peace out